Raphael. Hi. Hello. This is my first 18 inch little buddy. Um, to be perfectly honest, I've never been a fan of the faces of many of the popular, if not all of the popular 18 inch dolls. But when I saw this face, I thought it wasn't so bad. Well, when I saw pictures of it online. When I finally found him in person, I wasn't so sure. The head is smaller than I thought it would be as well. I guess I'm used to a more hunky, chunky doll like Luke. Even Luke's head is bigger than this guy's head. So the scale's a little off, but I think he looks good. And I think a lot is dependent upon his hair. Now, the hair is really glued. I think that has to change. Another one that I saw, the hair was glued down even more, and I couldn't tell if it was a boy or a girl. I gave this one a little hair fluff, and right away it made him look much better. I also find his outfit a little tight. Those pants look more like laggings. But the good thing about this is the My Life clothing at Walmart. The clothing packs are $20 for our generation. Our generation can be found in Canada at the Hudson Bay Company. You can also find it at Mastermind Toys, which is where I picked him up. Toys 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 is another store in the greater Toronto area that carries the Our Generation brand. Target in the States is where you would go to pick up these. He's still in a pink box. There's still the Our Generation story. There's a little story about this girl doing some good, looking cool for back to school includes. So I guess this is a back to school. I'm a little late reviewing this. I'm getting this out before Halloween. So this is what he looks like in the box. His name, Raphael, written right there. See how good he looks back there? Notice he has snaps on his jacket. His outfit is looking a little better there. The prototype is a little bit better quality. These are $40, I think, pretty much at all locations in Canada for this size, you can get more deluxe ones. This face is probably one of the better faces so far. I think it actually looks better than the prototype picture, at least the head. The head looks bigger there. I'm gonna open it up and we can get a better look at them. Yeah, the clothes are expensive for American Girl and even for these ones. I would say that a pack is at least $20. And as far as I know, there aren't exclusively boy packages, but there are ones that look like they would translate. There's like soccer ones and you could use pieces, probably not everything. I don't know, if you're okay with having little pink hearts on your boys' clothes, then you'd be in business. I do like wearing the color pink. I don't mind that. I'm not into hearts. That's just a personal preference. It's not a symbol that I like. That's a nice insert box. Do I think he's heavy? If he's heavy enough, he wobbles. He is a sleeping eye shut doll. I have a stitch remover somewhere. I have no idea where it is. Well, the clothes are sewn, like with actual thread. So I'm gonna see what I can do about that. I'm a huge fan of jersey and sweatpants, but there's something about this outfit that I don't like. Maybe if I stretch them out a bit and they're not as tight like this. The threads aren't so bad to cut off. Let me finish getting them all off first. Never just pull these because you could rip the clothing. Cut it very carefully, take the time. I should have even put on my glasses just to make sure. Really stitched together. Even the drawstrings on his pants are sewn down. The hair is actually soft and feels really good here. The gel part in the front, not cool. Let me see if I can brush that out really quickly. I really wanted them to look super together in the box, it seems, with all of the strings and everything. So I'm just roughing up his hair. I'm not getting a powdery residue. Maybe I need to get a comb. There are some spots 
on his scalp. You can see it's not fully rooted. I also like a hoodie, but not a fan of the nylon vest. What does the logo say? OG for our generation and a little pink heart. <laughs> Let's ax that. Yeah, the outfit is looking a little better now. Try rolling up the sleeves here. Looks even better. He looks like he's been working out. I know he's got a belly. See, and I would untuck the shirt. Loosen up, kid. Already looking better. I think I want to change the laces on his sneakers, too. Just a personal preference. There's his little feet. That's what the sneaker looks like. I do like the Converse. Now he has a soft body, but they did a remarkably good job at matching the color of his hard plastic arm. I think that's awesome. Usually you get like a natural cotton body and then the arm doesn't match, but it matches. So that means we can shirtless this guy and he can look, oh. Uh, well, unfortunately the stitches in his neck, it's not that cool. Interesting soft body though. I might as well take this off. This is the best surprise, is that he actually comes with underwear. Now they could have done the fly detail in the crotch. That would have been good, but I guess they're just reusing the girl underwear. And then he's got these tags in this soft body. Now I don't know what to do about that. Do you remove them? Do you keep them on? That's what his body looks like. He's got a big gap in between his legs. Feels like there's notches for the legs. So that's how he has to sit if he's sitting down. The articulation is just rotation in legs and in arms and it's 360 and the head also is 360. And of course the eyes are articulated. And if you want to see what he looks like under his underwear. And it doesn't look like he's naked anyway because it looks like he does have some kind of skin colored bodysuit on. I guess this stitch is what holds of a neck in. I would have definitely been happier without these stitches there. And then his butt, he's got a cross stitch there and back there. So he definitely looks more rudimentary underneath. I think I would take a hard body just to get the design opposed to the unrealistic cloth body, but this does make him look a little more old fashioned, so I think I can not completely dislike it. It's what his little undies look like. Okay, so I do have a few My Generation outfits. I think I'll save that for a different review, if that's something that you would like to see him dressed up in other outfits. I think I'm going to stick with the My Life ones at Walmart because they are only $10 opposed to the $20 plus that you're going to pay for the Our Generation or American Girl. I'm sure the American Girl ones are probably close to $50. I do like the sweatpants. In fact, I have a pair like this. I just might want to stretch them out a little bit. So it's nice that the pieces are all individual. So there's like four articles of clothing, five if you count the shoes. Shoes, pants, shirt, underwear, and this jacket. It's just my personal preference. I don't really like nylon clothes for myself or vests. So that's why I really like the hood though. And I really like these sneakers. I'm just not into fluorescent colors, so I'll probably change the laces. And the hair, I'm gonna use my own comb, and it's coming out pretty well. I like the color of the hair too. It's like a very true blonde color, a darker blonde. Unfortunately, it's like heavily rooted in this area, so I think you have to keep the part there. And his eyes make this noise. The hairstyle's not really versatile because of the way that it's rooted and cut. Really short on the sides here. I kind of like it when it comes back like that. Maybe. It looks good when I look at it on the side. I don't know. I want it to be a little messy. How does that look to you? Kind of looks like he's wearing a wig. Right there, I took the laces out of the sneakers. I already like that better. At Walmart, they have a snowsuit, so I might check that out. Really interested in hearing what you think of this guy. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.
This is my first 18 inch doll. <laughs> it looks like he can look into your soul with those eyes. He doesn't look like a Raphael, does he?